Aquarius, welcome to this just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Aquarius, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Okay, we love abundance vibes coming through, Aquarius. Now, new moon in Taurus. For me, the Taurian energy is a lot around the, the comfort, the money, the luxury. It can be our, our work real estate investments as well so there might be a new beginning through one of those means that's going to lead to a greater sense of abundance for you now um the the taurus energy and the major arcana is the hierophant and that can be around our big commitments right contracts work contracts uh, long-term investment contracts something like that that's going to lead to to a you know a rise or an increase in your prosperity in your abundance and of course it doesn't happen overnight but this is a real indication if you plant those seeds if you focus on them they will surely grow all the way through to making you the king of pentacles okay let's see I've got the Oracle of the Angels here, Aquarius. And I've got, ooh, light. Okay, look, I see someone here who's, you know, almost working some alchemy here with that fire, okay? And it feels magician vibes, turning base metal into gold here. What do you need to do to breathe light into the situation for yourself, okay? It's a bit of an inside job. Maybe you're needing to make an internal shift to feeling abundant, to being abundance, to expecting abundance here, um, to taking the actions that line up with that. That is all very important when we are trying to, to increase it. All right, let's see what we get. Working with the Moonchild Tarot here. And Aquarius, we have the Strength card. Okay, number eight in the Major Arcana. Yeah, so maybe you're really needing to, to include some bravery in this journey, right? Because that new beginning that you're going to move towards Aquarius, you know, can often bring up our own fears and insecurities, right? Represented by the lion here. So we need to soothe that under control because we can't have clarity of thought or hear our intuition when the inner beats are kind of taking control here. So your higher self is leading and guiding you at this time, right? And you know, the Leo energy is about the calls of the heart, following the heart here. And we've just come out of Leo season where there was a huge activation of that energy. So maybe that has really prompted something within you to follow a call of the heart. Oh, page of cups. Okay. It's funny because I always say that the pages are the energy that comes in before the ace of the same suit, meaning this is like the divine orchestration that's leading you to the ace of cups, which is an emotional new beginning that really fills your cup. Now, I'm not really feeling love here. I am feeling that this abundance, this work, this kind of monetary journey. Now, the page of cups is this energy where it can come out of the blue, unexpectedly or that the vehicle towards your prosperity may not be what you thought so you're being open you're being asked to be open to change chance synchronicity and also the page of cups can be a fated event or conversation that all of a sudden opens a door so maybe it, maybe it, it doesn't look how you expected but Sometimes that is part of the process, right? Like actually being able to recognize that something good can come of something unexpected here. I have the tower in reverse here, which is interesting. I'll put it up right for reading. But, you know, the tower indicates that maybe there's something here that needs to be moved away from you know, away from in order to move towards this page of cups. Now, it could be that you're wanting this prosperity and you're wanting this abundance. But the tower that you're in, the tower is the big stable situations, the job, the investment, the, um, you know, the contract, the commitment that you're in right now isn't the vehicle towards that abundance that you want. Therefore, we need to work some alchemy. We need to bring down a tower to create space for the real deal, which looks completely different to what we thought to come in. So I feel that maybe you were on a more traditional page or path or 
in a more traditional job there with the Taurian energy and the Page of Cups. It's the quirky thing. It's the creative thing. It's the different thing. That's really going to lead you there. Because we have a shaky foundation right now with the tower. And generally we need to clear the way so that we can kind of rise like the phoenix. Like there's real transformation on offer here. Yeah, otherwise it feels like five of pentacles. We're going to go in the opposite direction to prosperity. Like the five of pentacles is being in lack, right? Or being without or fear of. But it's a five, so it's a critical turning point. So you, you're really being asked here to look at doing things different, Aquarius, is what I'm feeling. That there may be the path that you're on, uh, and you'll feel it intuitively, if that's right, isn't the path to the true abundance. Yeah, ten of wands. Okay. So we have this big chunk of energy in the middle here that's saying, you, you're burning yourself out for no gain here in your current situation. Ten of Wands, it's all a bit of a burden and you've tried hard enough for that to give you the result, the outcome that you want. And sometimes we need to know when it's time to let go and move towards a new moon, a new beginning. Let's see if we get the Ace of Cups. No, but we've got Divine Wisdom here and that is really saying that, you know, your Angel Spirits guides are trying to send you, you know, the intuition, the advice, the guidance here. We need to look at the bigger picture, right? Not just what's in front of us. So divine wisdom, you might get some kind of, you know, insight or epiphany moment that's coming from your guides to help you six of swords transition on. Yeah. So what I'm really getting here, Aquarius, is that where you are right now, isn't it? It's not going to lead you to that prosperity, right? In fact, quite the opposite. Could lead to a tower moment. You're actually being asked Six of Swords to transition away from that. And yes, it is with a bit of a heavy heart because you might be pretty invested in that or you have, you know, put a lot of energy into it. But the true victory is knowing when to move on. And I think when you do, you're going to land on new shores. The Page of Cups is going to greet you and that is unexpected. So I think there's an unexpected new direction but I feel that door won't really open until you have acknowledged through accepting that divine wisdom that there needs to be movement forward and away from where you are. And that's where the strength, courage and bravery really does come in Aquarius. But that will set you on the path to the true prosperity. So I will leave it there Aquarius and wish you the very best with it. Um, if you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstance, please do follow the first link down below to my website where you can check those out and come across to Instagram for daily content, daily readings over there. I'd love to have you with me and don't forget to like, share, comment and hit subscribe on your way out. It honestly makes all the difference in a totally engagement based algorithm. So I'd be very grateful for that. And I will see you back here, Aquarius, in a couple of days' time for your weekly tarot reading. So you don't want to miss that one. Um, I will see you then. For now, wishing you all the love and magic. Bye for now.